party people in the house tonight. Welcome back, it's homecoming week. Yeah, awesome, cool. I'm your host, Miss Sabolski, as always, and I'm super excited because, like I said, it's homecoming week. So my ladies, I hope you got your dresses. My dudes, um, if you have not ordered your croissants yet, please check with your mother to make sure that it is ordered for your girl. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> so homecoming, people are coming back. Um, the homecoming game is super exciting. Make sure that you are there for it. Um, all of our alumni come back. Everybody's having a great time. Now for us to talk about homecoming, people coming home, alumni, I figured I just had to bring in a special guest. So I uh, called up my best friend from Lancaster Catholic and I'd like to introduce you, Emma! Hi, Noelle. Hi, Emma. First of all, before we go any further, I just have to say, classic Noelle fashion, it's party rock is in the house tonight, not party people. <laughs> this is a classic thing. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, you'll be sure? fine. Yeah, I'm positive. So Emma is really cool, really awesome. Um, we met here our freshman year of Lancaster Catholic. Um, I remember, I think this was my view of it and not yours. Um, I was in course on freshman orientation and there were five freshmen in the class. And I looked over and I said, that one doesn't look weird. So I went and talked to her. <laughs> and then we became friends. <laughs> that was my my first impression of you was that Miss Sobolski had this giant oh. messy bun on the top side of her head every single day. Guys, it was cool at the time. That was my impression was... of you. I probably had free wrap in too. To that probably. I'm not even a field hockey or soccer oh, player. Yeah. Yikes. Um, okay, so to let our fun audience people get to know you a little bit mm -hmm. more, I'm going to ask you a couple questions about okay. your time at Lancaster Catholic. Okay, got it. First off. Easy one. What was your favorite class? Ooh, definitely acting technique with Miss Kinsey. Mm, that was a fun one. one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know if all of you know who Miss Kinsey was, but she was in the room that Miss O'Sullivan is in now. And the reason Miss O'Sullivan's room is blue is because of Miss Kinsey. Mm -hmm. She was fun. She's artistic. Yes. And everything love her. Like love her. Great, great yeah. teacher. Great class. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so there's a lot of stairwells in mm -hmm. Lancaster Catholic's building. Um, mm -hmm. I know that I tried to avoid the main staircase. Mm -hmm. What was your go-to staircase? Like the one you used the most? My go-to staircase was probably the band hallway staircase because my locker was right there. But my favorite one was the echoey staircase. Wait, like the one by uh, Senora Ring Lights? Yes, yes, in the language hallway. <laughs> you just go in, you're like, uh. Yeah, I would just like sing a little bit when I walked in. It, it was, was horrible. Oh my gosh, it was terrible when you were walking through it and someone turned off the lights and you yes. just heard it. Like, ah! Why did that happen so much? I don't know. Okay, next question. Okay. What was your locker number? Oh gosh, I don't know. That's a you thing to remember in high school. She's I have no Mine idea. was 3032. Or is 3230. I, I don't, don't know, know how you remember threes that. And twos and zeros. <laughs> oh, okay. No idea. No recollection. Okay, fine. She's just not at school as well. No. It's okay, guys. No. Um, okay. <clears throat> this is a very big debate. <clears throat> okay. Best Catholic high lunch. Oh. Is 100 percent the the pretzel cheese ham. You don't even cheese. know what it's called. I don't know, but it was delicious. It's the I hot love. ham and cheese. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You hot like ham pretzel, and cheese. Hot ham and cheese. No, it's just the hot ham. Oh my god. Oh, those okay. are the best. But like what about chicken tenders and mashed potatoes? Do I even remember that? All I remember is the hot ham and cheese. Did she even go roll. here? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Now to get to everything else we're going to talk about on our show today. Um, so I brought Emma in because homecoming and we're back and all that jazz, you know. Um, but also talking about friendship and like what that looks like. Because I realized the other day, we met each other in 2010, which means we've been friends for 12 years. 12 years? We almost know each other more than we've not known each other. That's a really long time to be friends with you. Yeah, isn't it? I'm just kidding, in a good way, in a good way. <laughs> I get paid to hang out with her. Her husband pays me, just kidding. Wait, um, what? <laughs> so anyways, um, I was thinking about it and I was like, how did we like stay friends for so long? Mm -hmm. So Emma and I, we went to high school all four years together. Then we graduated. She went to Franciscan University out in Steubenville, Ohio. Mm -hmm. And I went to DeSales University in Allentown, PA. And that's five hours apart, not close. And then for one semester, Emma decided to go travel in Austria. 
<laughs> and that's a lot further than five Just hours. A little bit. And a little further. <laughs> yeah, time differences and everything like mm -hmm. that. Um, and then after we both graduated, we ended up coming back to Lancaster area. But even while we were in college, we still remained friends. Mm -hmm. um, so I was trying to think of like why we stayed friends and how we stayed friends. I think one of the one things, and I think this is like the most simple one, is that we just can have fun together. True. In case you guys haven't been able to tell so far, up on that. we're <laughs> pretty fun and we pretty fun. great. <laughs> um, so I think that's like such an important part mm -hmm. of friendship is being able mm -hmm. to have fun together and just enjoy time right. together. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, for sure. But then I think, I think that's simple. I think you guys get the point. I'm not gonna go into that too much more. Mm -hmm. um, I think the next thing is being supportive and like mm -hmm. dedicated to our friendship. Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we both like really intentionally kept pursuing our friendship, even when we were miles away, even now when we're in like kind of different stages in our life, like we've continued to like pursue that and like yeah. make that a priority in our lives. That's like super important. I say even like during high school, like mm -hmm. I I was dancing all the time, so I had a crazy schedule. Mm -hmm. You were doing like 25,000 Whatever things. I was doing. <laughs> you were taking the bus, yeah. that's all I know. <laughs> but like we made sure that we had time mm -hmm. to see each other and that we would hang out. I remember, um, my family moved my junior year of high school and like mm -hmm. you like sacrificed so much time to come over and just help us move. Just moving boxes. I think it <laughs> might have been to use our new pool we just got. But like she sacrificed the time to do that. Yeah. Um and I think supporting each other. You actually just mentioned this earlier today like yeah, in high school we like like Emma would get something and I wouldn't or I would get something and she wouldn't. Right. Um and Emma was like, "No, well, I just remember like even if I got the lead in the fall play like you were still there for me and super happy for me yeah we really like celebrated each other like you know you got in National Honor Society and I did it you know but no matter what it's okay it's okay I, it's a little bit about it <laughs> but we had a lot of different strengths but whenever one of us got something that the other one would have really liked as well we weren't like all like brooding and jealous we like really celebrated and supported each other which I think if you just you know, really cling to like what you don't have in a friendship. Like that's just, that's not a healthy friendship. Yeah. You know, definitely. So. Like, and I remember, so Mr. Bamert could only choose one another person for a Kairos leader. Um, and so it was down to us. Um, and he couldn't take both of us because we're too similar. Um, and Mr. Bamert chose Emma because she was going to become a youth minister. Funny enough, I work with him now every day, so I bring that to his <laughs> face every single day. Um, but I remember, like, when you came home from Kairos, like, one, I was so happy for you to go on Kairos, and when you came home from Kairos, I was just so happy to see you, mm -hmm. so happy to hear about everything. Mm -hmm. Like, I was bummed. I was like, dang it. Of course, like, yeah. I really would have liked that, but mm -hmm. I just wanted you to have a great time, mm -hmm. and I wanted it to be amazing for you, and I wanted, I also wanted to experience that with you. Right. You know? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. No, I, yeah. no, that's a super important I thing in our friendship. Love yeah. It. Yeah. I think a third aspect, and we're going to go for a three aspect thing right now, mm -hmm. is, um, and it's so funny because some, like, we're not weird, I promise, but like sometimes we write letters to each other, like, you know, like, mm -hmm. In not weird ways, like birthdays. I feel like a birthday, yeah. yeah like, or, I appreciate you, you're a good friend. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but something I always notice in your letters, and I think I always write in my letters, is just like how thankful I am that you helped me grow in my faith. Oh, yeah. You know? Same, yeah. And it's just by the example of your life, but mm -hmm. also like the conversations we have mm -hmm. and how we can talk about our faith and how we can talk about like our struggles mm -hmm. and our awesomeness. Yeah. You know? yeah, totally makes sense. Yeah. yeah, we're always like asking each other like, hey, how can I pray for you? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, how's your relationship with God? Like, we're just really able to like walk with each other and support each other yeah. in our faith journey. And I think that sometimes yeah. when we're not able to be there physically for mm -hmm. each other, it's so nice to be able to be there spiritually right. for exactly. each other, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so I think this all kind of ties into life at Lancaster Catholic. And you can back me up on this, mm -hmm. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so homecoming and coming home, you notice so many alumni come home for homecoming. So the football game, everybody's around. Homecoming dance is just you guys. But football game, you know, and we have other activities. Um, and I mean, other times we just have people come back to Lancaster Catholic. Yeah. And I think it's because the same aspects of our friendship are in 
Lancaster Catholic. Right. I forgot yeah. Where that was going. Yeah, like life in Lancaster Catholic. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, they also have the support, mm -hmm. you know, um, that like. It's almost, I mean, it's like a family. Yeah. Like, I mean, we say Lancaster Catholic's a family, but the real, like, Lancaster Catholic is here to support you. The teachers, mm -hmm. the friendships you make, mm -hmm. um, the the building, I don't know how much that can support you, but when we redo <laughs> it, it can definitely support you um, and everything like that. So I, I feel like, and it's dedicated, you know, that support right. and dedication. Yeah, it's interesting, like, going to college and meeting other friends and them talking about their high school experience, they didn't have the same type of community and mm. like family togetherness that this place has. It made me appreciate it a lot more, talking yeah. to other people and their experience. Yeah, no, I definitely had a similar experience yeah. to that. Mm. And then I think the faith aspect, you know, I mean, Lancaster Catholic, we're all about your faith and we want to help you grow in your faith. Um, so I know there's alums who graduate who reach out to me and like, hey, can you just pray for me right now? Or like, hey, I'm going through a tough time. Can you help me out? Mm -hmm. um, and so, I know that Lancaster Catholic's always there for me to help me grow in my faith, you know? And I think that's a really beautiful thing, too. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, yeah I really appreciate the foundation that I got here um, with with my faith and education and, and prayer. I was really very grateful yeah. for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, just like a good friend like this, uh, <laughs> there's also, Lancaster Catholic is that, that friend, that family. Um, and I think that's the beautiful thing of homecoming. So when you're at the football game and you see all the alumni, like show them that like the fun, the support and like the faith aspect, you know, show them that love. Um, and know that as you continue on, whether you're a freshman or a senior, like you always got that here. We're always here for you. So with that, I think that's a wrap for our show today. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks for having oh me. Gosh, thank you for joining me. It today. was it was a pleasure. Yeah, such an no, honor. The pleasure is all mine. Such an honor. It's beautiful and <laughs> great stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'll see you next week. Um, next week I'm gonna be talking about prayer. Crazy, when we're talking Ooh, about faith. That's Not a good one. Prayer. That's a good one. For pray, hope, and don't worry. We're talking about the pray mm. part. Um, so I'll see you next week. Have a great week until then, and have a great time at homecoming. Yeah, it's amazing. Dance out, all that jazz. Mm -hmm.